Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com and in this video I want to show you how to add the Google Tag Manager code to your GetResponse landing page. So in the previous video we've created the 52.68% conversion rate landing page and now it's time to set up tracking for it, alright? So head over to the landing page menu here in GetResponse by just selecting the all those dots and clicking landing pages and then select your landing page, click on the three dots to the right and click on edit settings. We're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and we've already created this Google Analytics code. Make sure to check that video out if you wanna do that. Or if you're using Google Tag Manager, you can click on add new platform. And if you don't have anything, you'll see something like this. So just select the platform, in our case, Google Tag Manager. And now we have to enter the Google Tag Manager ID. So that's just our container ID. So let's head over into our Google Tag Manager account. We're gonna click on admin here. And this is our Google Tag Manager ID, okay? So let's copy it. I'm gonna go back into Get Response and paste it here. And that is all there is to it, guys. It's as simple as that, but let's go ahead and let's test this. So we're gonna view our landing page. Let's head back over into Google, uh, Google Tag Manager and let's enter preview mode so we can see that the code is there. So we're now in preview mode. Let's go ahead and refresh this page again. And as you can see now, the Google Tag Manager is properly added because you see this window here. If the Google Tag Manager is not on the page, you will not see this drop down here. So now that you know it's here, you go back into Google Tag Manager, go into Tags and add whatever URLs, whatever you know things you want to track. But you know it's here because of this. You might not see all these options that I have here. I have them because of my remarketing courses and I was teaching you how to add the Facebook pixel, Google Ads tracking, all that stuff. So check out my courses at ivanmana.com slash old courses. But this is how you test that it's working, all right? And that's it. That's how you add the Google Tag Manager to your GetResponse landing page. If you want to know how to create a GetResponse landing page or you want to see how to create autoresponders, check out my GetResponse playlist where I teach you how to do everything from start to finish. That being said, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.